Hello again guys, this is, uh, we are trying to cook a fast dish and uh, presentable at the same time. So we got chicken breast and uh, we got capsicums. So we're going to have to do something with it. This is the occasion. Uh, that I was mentioning before in my Facebook page that uh, fast and easy cooking so we're gonna start get on with it Usually I cook the chicken but I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to Small, easy bits, because it's going to be fast and easy and then it's going to be fast and easy. Now you can teach them this. So that, and thank you for the time. Cook. I don't have time to cook to, for tomorrow lunch. You can see my finger. How thick. And how big it's like almost an inch but a little lower a little less it doesn't matter Okay, meat is done. See the size of the onion? That's almost two inches and tiny bitty. Cut it thin as much as possible. Any cutting it? Okay, that's onion done. Now the capsicum turn.
chunky slices. You can see that's my finger and that's the chunky bit. Don't matter, you get it right or wrong as long as you cut it into six size pieces. Not small. Square pieces, almost an inch. I'm finger thick. <laughs> Okay, capsicums are done. <clears throat> now we got parsley. Take a bunch of it, put it in there. Right, a little bit more. Almost a bowl. And you take the coriander out. Put it in there. Almost the same amount of pasta. Now you want to take the branches out. You just need leaves. Okay, and after you take the branches out, you want to fill it up, make sure everything is coriander and parsley soaked to the top. Place it on the side. Like Better ginger. Take the skin off of that. garlic and chop it into the I like a little bit of green in my garlic chop as thin as much as possible you can You want garlic and ginger to be there, but not to be taste. Because it's awful smell and taste. You want to crush them by using something. I use pistol.
paste is done. Almost. Probably was done. Get a fine as much as possible. The dish that I'm cooking, everybody said that is delicious. I cook it whenever I want to. to not to cook for two days at least. Because I can use it for tomorrow lunch. Same thing. I make a sandwich out of it. Okay, this garlic ginger paste is done. It's finally mixed together already. No salt in it. Nothing. Just garlic and ginger. That's how it looks. Green. Okay, the last ingredient. Y'all will be sure, okay? That's chili. See, a lot of people like to use red chili. I like to use green chili, fresh. Why? I don't know. I don't taste chili after it's cooked. That's why, probably. Let it fine as you can. The chili will give all the flavors a little boost. That's why I use this chili. But you don't taste chili, even though when you try to eat it by itself, it's gonna almost gonna put a lava like it's gonna feel like lava in your mouth. But this one works better. It don't after it's cooked. It don't taste chili. It tastes perfectly normal. If someone didn't eat chili before, it's not going to harm. If you don't want to put chili, it's not. It's up to you, totally up to you. But I like chili. I don't taste chili, but I like the flavor of it a little bit inside the cakes. Okay, I need to set this up back onto the stove thingy that I'm going to use, the gas one, not the electric one. Okay, here we go, guys. We started cooking now. Put the oil in. This is olive oil. A light olive oil. You want the whole pan to cover, but you don't want to drain. Okay? You don't want to drain anything. You want a whole pan to cover it. Or like this. To estimate, I will say. Two of the fifteen mil, so thirty mil.
half a teaspoon, you want to add sea salt, half a teaspoon. Getting to the red point, you want to add garlic ginger paste that freshly you made. And along with the chili, freshly finely chopped. Don't get me wrong, but the chili will smell crazy. So I'm going to have to turn the door fan on for a bit. mixing it until you see all the raw chicken is uh, sealed or cooked from outside. You want all that flavors to get inside the chicken. which is a zing from onion and chili and the garlic ginger paste is gonna kill the chicken smell by going in there because we browned it off 
it takes a little time for it to go in and do what you need to do to kill the smell the raw chicken smell no matter how you cook it if you don't put the garlic in your paste or what was the other one you heard I don't remember but uh, if you put that up it kills the smell of the chicken in next video I will tell you that about the herb I don't really remember exactly what's the herb name I just came across one day almost there only a few of the pieces uh, I can see a roll but I'm gonna turn them onto the hot pan side Oh yeah, the flame had it, had it on a medium, too high. Now I turn the flame to the high, all the way high. Because I want the water to go away. I didn't put no water here, you guys saw that. The smell already calling me, making me hungry. Like, ooh, I want to eat that food now. Couple more minutes. You add capsicum. I decided to make this video non-stop because the a lot of the videos I see they like in there, but people try to help people out with the knowledge of cooking. You know what I have knowledge. I'm just doing straightforward and non-stop. So if anybody want to cook, they can, literally anyone can cook, if okay? you just follow exactly what I did. Now I'm dropping it back to medium to high. The flying, I should say. I'm 
I put it back on high again because I see it was it was acting funny. It's too much water in there. I'm not drying the chicken. It will be moist. Second turn. Taking a coriander and parsley out of the bowl and let it soak before. Chop this fine and thin as much as possible.
fix it. Let it go. It's still on high. There's not as much water left now. Three chicken breasts. Capsicums, one onion, and bit that, bit this. medium now because I want capsicum to be cooked but slightly raw I like I like that crunch now chop this a little bit more fine Yeah, this literally is ready, but just waiting for the capsicums now. Couple more minutes. Almost there. You just garnish it and put it on top. Don't think I'm using the meat knife with the Knife because I'm using the knife when I use a knife, I clean it. I clean it, prepare for next time. There we go, it's coming together now. Everything. sauce in the bottom which is not a sauce but a bit of water but it's not water it's the what do you say 
you can say gravy stuff, but you know, it's just chicken. This is the dish for this. Well cooked. And now. Finish.